Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a time series plot with uh, monthly data labels added next to the points. Um, now the only way I know how to do this is to make an entirely new plot. I don't know how to add labels to an existing plot. So what I'm going to have to do is create a new column of data labels in column D, uh, right click on column D, insert, and I'll call this new column month label and it gets a J for January, F for February, etc. And I'm going to copy this label notation for each month down to the rest of the data. And we've got some extras here, so I'll just delete that. And now, to make my plot, I'm going to make a time series plot out of these two columns. Sounds weird, <laughs> but start selecting the labels and the response data. Shift, control, down, arrow key. Insert, scatter, connect the points. And uh, let's clean again by deleting extraneous information. Grid lines, rescaling. Right click on the Y axis. Let's start at 420, uh, sorry, 240, go to 420, let's go increments of 60 this time, and number, let's get rid of the three decimal places, press close, okay, and then uh, again I'll go every 12 on the x-axis, right click, format axis, let's end at 66, going up by 12s. And I format the points like before, right click on the points, format data series, marker options built in, circle, let's change the size, marker fill, solid, black, line color, solid, black, line style, and the outline of the points. Okay, add labels, add titles, layout, horizontal, now this is my month index. Vertical, rotated, retail, sales, and let's add a boundary around the part of the graph in the center. Right click, format plot, border, solid, uh, medium gray, and the outside format chart area, border, no line. And I can add a title, click on the graph once, layout, chart title above the chart. And again, we have US retail sales, billions, um, January 00 through June 06. That's actually January 01. Okay, and click on it to make it smaller. Home tab, size 12 is good. Okay, and we're almost done. I need to add the labels yet. Right click anywhere on the points, say add data labels, and it gives me the response values, but that's not what I want. Right click anywhere on the, those uh, data label response values, format data labels, uncheck Y value and check X value, press OK. And uh, you see we have a label now next to each of the points. And I'll stretch this graph out just a little bit, and it looks like a nice time series plot. And again, we can see strong seasonality. The J Januarys, Februarys are always down. These Decembers are always high. The other months, you can uh, see they're all kind of mid-range. If the labels are too large for you, you can right click on them, format data labels. You can put them above, to the left, to the right. You can change the size also. I'll just change the size here click on them once and I'll change the font to size 8 just to make them a little smaller. Okay.